Hello bike commuters, I'm Reed, one of the founders of Two Wheel Gear, and I can't believe it's been almost 10 years since I started building bike bags in my basement. You know, I'm just like you, I uh, worked for a big company, I rode my bike downtown, and, uh, and I was changing into a suit, and basically there was not a good way to carry the suit, so we created the bike suit bag, and some of you out there are still riding with the classic bike suit bag 1.0 that I put together in my basement workshop. And if you are, thank you so much. You are part of the core of this company. If you're new to this, welcome so much to checking out this video and checking out our company. We make bike bags and the best tools for you to basically ride your bike to work. You know, it's not always easy being a bike commuter. You gotta deal with pretty harsh weather sometimes, you got other drivers on the road, and even sometimes other cyclists can kind of get under your skin and, and throw you off your game. But the one thing that you should never have to worry about is your gear. And that's where we can help you have a successful day and basically make your bike ride the best part of your day. Now, I just I know why you want to watch this video is to see our 2019 gear and we have some amazing things coming at you. But before you do, this all leads into it. So I just want to show you what my bag looks like and this is our regular pannier backpack and I just want to show you what I typically pack in it, give you an idea of the size and if you're just kind of getting started to see what you know a daily bike commuter really needs to take. So let's just dive into it. I do make a good coffee at home, I put it in a thermos in the side of my bag, I like to have a few sips along the way, when I get to the office, you know, I have a coffee, a couple hours later I'll go for a coffee break. Inside the top pocket here, this is where you kind of carry your valuables, I usually keep my wallet in there, you know, I'll keep my phone in that pocket, um, I'll keep some earbuds, you know, I love these little kind bars, so I usually do take a snack with me. That's about that pocket. This is the rain cover pocket. So in here, every tool gear bag comes with the rain cover. We use waterproof materials and it's all super solid, but you get in some like typhoon type storms sometimes, and this just protects all your zippers and your seams. So it's always great to have that, and it's super high vis, so you want to put it on in low light day. It's a great thing to keep a small pump in your bag. You know, I think the biggest tip for bike commuters is to check your tire pressure. It can make the difference between a great ride and a super, super long, arduous ride. So that's the one thing you see guys, sometimes you'll pass them on the bike path and you can just say like, hey buddy, you need to, you need to blow up your tire. So just check those regularly, give them a few pumps, it'll go a long way. Uh, I do keep a patch kit here. This is just a small, simple one, and I keep a better one actually in here too. And this one's got metal tire levers for uh, for changing your tube. Um, and it also, I do have a little bit of spray in there for just lubing the chain up, and some hex wrenches. You have a little, you have a bunch of bolts around. Sometimes you just got to go around and tighten things up a little bit. So good idea, just to have a very basic toolkit. Last thing, I do keep some good wet chain lubricant in there. It rains a lot in Vancouver, and to keep your chain nice and lubed, super important to keep your bike running uh, smooth. So I do keep a little bit of that. But that's about it for tools. It's, it's really quite basic, actually. Inside the main compartment, uh, this is my lunch container. This is about what I would take on a, on a daily basis. This is my container. Sometimes I take a pair of shoes. You don't really need to. The best tip, leave your shoes under your desk at work. If you don't have to haul those, don't haul them. I always, not always, but you know, as much as I can do a workout at lunchtime. So this has got my pair of shorts and a t-shirt and, and a pair of socks and underwear in it. It's all my sweaty stuff from today, so we don't need to see that anymore. Uh, my charging cord for my laptop, of course, and then uh, my laptop here in the back of the bag. And so this is a 15.6 inch MacBook Pro. This bag was kind of designed for that. It's a bit of a, you know, it's a tight fit, but it's kind of built like that on purpose. And then uh, I guess on the top lid here, the last things, I just have, you know, some deodorant and some hair product. Because, um, yeah, you need that if you're going to shower or get cleaned up after workout. So that just slides in there. And that's, you know, basically it. That's all you really need to take. You know, maybe an extra shirt and a pair of pants. 
Um, to change when you get there it depends. I'm pretty casual now and I'm making bike bags of course, but I didn't always be like that way. So now it gets to the exciting part. Over the last year or two, you know, we've been following all the comments, all the social media, um, people that have been talking to us through email, through reviews, and I respond to all those personally. You know, 95% of all the comments and the responses that you get typically will come from me because I monitor that stuff so closely. And I take all that and I put it in a design document and it goes in to make all of the changes that we want to do on the products and to develop our future products. So this year's products, really were developed by your comments and your feedback. And now I want to get into the Penny Backpack Plus. So here it is. You know, we heard that there was three main things that you guys needed to be basically improved in our Penny Backpack. We do know that you love it. It's got great ratings. It's definitely the best Penny Backpack on the market. But there are some things that we can improve on, and we took that to heart. So number one, you needed more space. We had everybody from university students to doctors telling us, you know, they wish that they, the bag had a little bit more space. University students didn't have enough room for their, all their textbooks, and even, you know, the doctors for a nice pair of shoes or whatever, there was just a little too tight. So, I just showed you the capacity of the regular panty backpack. This is the plus. Inside the plus, you'll see, I've got a fully stuffed regular Panty backpack, so that gives you a good idea of how big this uh, main compartment is of the bag. So you can put the regular size panty backpack right inside of the plus. So that gives you so much more storage without being overly bulky. You know, we kept a very simple formula. We tried out a bunch of sizes, but we kept it pretty simple in the long run. And we basically made it one inch wider, one inch longer, and two inches deeper. So that's kind of where this new size came from. The second thing that you really wanted, and you kind of seen it with the first bag, is that it was a little bit challenging to put your laptop into that back sleeve. It can be a little tight, especially if you have a little bit of a thicker computer, you know, and it's not like super quick and easy to get out. So we developed a totally separate waterproof laptop pocket on the back of the bag here. Now it's super easy to get in and out of uh, to your laptop. So I'll just pull mine back out here and literally it just slips right in. It doesn't matter if you've got a thicker computer, this is a lot wider pocket and you can actually put a lot more stuff in here besides your laptop as well. But now airport security, wherever you're going, you can use this. Super clean, super easy to put your laptop in there. And overall, just a lot more convenient. The last thing that we have, mounting system. You know, our mounting system is always right at the top. We use the best components that we can find. Um, typically, we'll use Rixen and Call that are made in Germany. And this here is no different. They have a brand new system. And I really think that we're one of the first companies, at least in North America, to incorporate this system into our bags but it's called the compact rail. And in the past, we have had a little bit of difficulty getting our bags to fit on all different sizes of racks. You know, either a little bit too small or too big was the main reason. Our old hooks really went up to 12 millimeters. These ones go from six to 16, and they even work with e-bikes like Pedagos that have that, you know, battery incorporated into that rear carrier. It's, a, it's always kind of been a pain, you know, for people that make panniers and bags. But um, these hooks have kind of solved that problem. Super quick to put on, you just drop it on, there's a center lock that clips around the rack, and the hooks even adjust with the top button. So it's super clean, super simple. I think it's the best system that we've found yet by far. So those are the three major upgrades for the Panty Backpack Plus. Of course, this is our military grade wax canvas in the Navy. So we brought that back by popular demand. My personal favorite bag that we made, the style, um, is just so cool. So this is the wax canvas edition that we've come up with this year and I highly recommend it. It's just an awesome fabric. Um, super in love with this bag. Besides the Panty Backpack Plus, here's the really new kind of thing for us. We're venturing off the rear of the bike and we're going to the handlebars. Even one of my business mentors, he said like, ah, oh, Reed, I love your stuff, but I just don't want to put a rack on my bike. I, I don't want to carry panniers. Um, I just want a super cool little bag that I can put my notebook in and take to my meetings. 
and uh, that looks really cool. And, and then so we made this bag with his feedback and we've had a lot of people ask us about like, oh, they don't have a rack, they don't want to put a rack on their, their, their bike. You know, one bag on their rack seems like it's going to be unstable, which I'm going to address that later uh, down the series here. But we did. We thought that we should have another option for commuters. So we came out with the mini messenger handlebar bag. This is such a slick little messenger bag. It's got a front handlebar adapter that stays on your bars. It's got one button quick release. Um, a little panel here just clicks right in. And it's got a removable shoulder strap, magnetic front messenger flap, uh, a couple of water bottle pockets. You can just take a sip of coffee or whatever on the way in. It's just such a clean, cool little bag. I think you're going to love this bag. So that is the, the handlebar bag. And I'm going to get into both these bags more in the next video. I'm actually going to take you kind of behind the scenes. We're doing the BC Bike Show this weekend and it's really the launch party for these new bags. And I'm going to give you a demo like you're actually there. I know not everybody's going to be able to make it to Vancouver. <laughs> so I'm going to take you and actually give you the experience of coming to the booth showing you the gear and even talk to some customers that are there and get their reactions so they can kind of tell you what they think of, about the bags in, in real life. So look out for that, it's coming soon. I'm really excited to show these and get these into your hands and I know that they're really going to help you out on your daily ride. So if you think that these are cool or if you have tips or what you pack in your bag, we'd love to hear your comments. If you're excited about it, you know, if you, what, even if you don't think it's that cool, let us know in the comments below. Um, either on our blog, we're doing kind of a, a launch blog for all of our products. And then on social media, of course, where we're always following. If you can leave us a comment there, amazing. Thank you so much again for tuning in and watch out for the next video. We've got a lot more really cool stuff to show you.